Enalapril decreases blood pressure. So Enalapril having a suffix pril. This suffix pril indicates it is an AC inhibitor. So Enalapril is having a structure like this and which can be metabolized in vivo into a metabolite like Enalaprilate. You can see in the Enalapril the group here is the ester function where in the Enalaprilate the group here is the carboxylic acid. So by simply hydrolysis Enalapril can be converted into Enalaprilate which is the active metabolite. So that's why Enalapril is called as a prodrug. So Enalapril cannot directly act but it is act through the its active metabolite Enalaprilate. So Enlapril is used for different conditions like heart failure and hypertension. It is also used for many of these cardiovascular problems. Two of the important conditions are heart failure and hypertension. Now here we will see how Enlapril can act on the heart failure to decrease the blood pressure. Angiotensinogen is one of the precursor for the angiotensin 1. So this angiotensinogen can be converted to angiotensin 1 by one of the enzyme renin which is released in the kidney. And angiotensin 1 then can be converted to angiotensin 2 by one of the enzyme ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme. Now the angiotensin released in this way can increase the noradrenaline release thereby it increase the action on the heart. So angiotensin can act on two main organs. One is the heart and blood vessel. On the heart, it is indirectly acting by increasing the noradrenaline release, thereby it increases the rate and force of contraction of the heart. But on the blood vessel, it directly acts and produces the vasoconstriction. Apart from these two effects, angiotensin can also act on the aldosterone secretion thereby it increases the sodium and water reabsorption in the body thereby increases the body volume. It can also produce the proliferation of the vascular smooth muscle which also increases the blood pressure. So all these effects can increase the blood pressure by release of the angiotensin 2 by the ACE enzyme. So AC inhibitors like Enlapril act on the AC enzyme thereby inhibits the conversion of the angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 thereby they decrease the blood pressure. So Enlapril is going to inhibit the renin angiotensin system thereby it decreases the afterload and decreases the preload and decreases the cardiac work. By all of these the blood pressure is going to be decreased by Enlapril. The main side effects of Enlapril are like hypotension. Because it is an anti hypertensive it can produce a hypotension. And another side effect which is a common side effect of all the category of drugs which are having the suffix pril is the dry cough. This dry cough is because of the accumulation of the bradykinin by inhibition of the again AC enzyme. And third is the renal failure. So Enlapril on long term usage can produce a renal failure and uh, elevation of the potassium levels in the body leading to hyperkalemia. So these are the important side effects of the Enlapril. And apart from these side effects, Enlapril is also a teratogenic and it should not be given to, to the pregnant woman.